All right, finally finished the front hubs for this thing. These are looking pretty amazing. Like I said in the last video, once I drill the holes, I will be cutting out the material in between to lighten these things up, and it definitely worked. These are a lot lighter uh, than they started out to be. Now, I already in installed the bearings, and I already drilled the holes, so therefore we can mount the sprockets, or the, uh, the brake discs, onto these just like so these are pretty much done these only took me like three and a half days so it really wasn't that bad now i guess we can finally start working on finishing the rear hubs now i'm going to do the same thing uh to these as i did with these you know once i drill the holes i'll be cutting out the material in between to lighten these up as well Oh my lord, this is not working that well. What is happening? I'm gonna try something else, because this is not working. Finally finished the front hubs and uh, all that. I already explained all that. Now, as far as the rear hubs, I did decide to redesign how I bolt this whole thing together. Remember, originally I had this little tiny bolt holding everything together, and I didn't really like that. You guys had a good point in the last video. Uh, it's not really the best setup. So I decided to redesign it, and I welded something on, and then tapped it to uh, 3 quarters by 10. So therefore we have this three quarter inch nut holding everything together and then once uh, once we finish this project I'll be able to tighten this to whatever you know torque these uh, these bearings need drill a hole through the nut and put a pin through this therefore it'll lock it in place now no I did not forget about putting some type of covers for these bearings I haven't forgot about that I just haven't done it yet kind of lazy just kind of want to do it later on but um you know I have not forgot about that now I decided to finish this part of these hubs and not really film it. I know I didn't film it, but I already filmed it with doing the front hubs. It was the same process, so I decided to just not film it. Now as you can tell, we don't have any sprockets on here yet. Now, the new sprockets I bought, remember, the first sprockets I ordered, uh, I ordered 530, they showed up 520. I ordered new sprockets. This time I made sure that the seller said that, says that they are 530 they showed up as 520. So this time, I contacted the seller, told them what happened, they told me keep the old, keep those sprockets that they sent, and they're sending me new ones. I am hoping that they are the correct size this time. Once they get here, we'll be able to finally install them on the hubs, finish these, and uh, finally move on from machining, because uh, I've been machining for like two and a half weeks now, and I kind of want to move on 
and start working on building the frame. So next week's video is we're finally going to start working on building the frame and start working on all that. But for now, I got to end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Yeah, I'm gonna go wash my face.